Hey, welcome to KevinandFred.com. I'm I'm Kevin, you're Fred. Yeah, I know. You're on vacation. Well, I am actually. Uh, but you're wearing a red shirt. It's Red Day, 2013. Well, not while they watch this, but it is Red Day today. Well, it was Red Day. Earlier, I was at the Phoenix Rescue Mission for Red Day. Yeah, but you know what? You will never hear anybody say, Kevin looks good in red. Actually, Denise said it earlier. Oh, really? You know what you'll also never hear a lot of people say? Kevin has a lot of hair. No, that big is good. That's true. Many people think that big, big is bad. bad. They've got megaphobia. Mega, mega what? Do you have megaphobia? Megaphobia is a word Gary Keller invented. It's the irrational fear of big. Ooh. And how many people in business that we know of have mega... Heck, not even in business. People in general have do, do you know up. how hard it is to get big? Do you know how much time, energy, and effort it is to manage something that's big, to manage hundreds of people in an organization? Do you understand the stress level and all the work that goes into, you know, big? Yeah, it's hard. It's bad. It's evil. Oh, okay. No, that's what some people would have. Oh, that's think. what most people think. That's absolutely what most people think. But if you read this chapter here of The One Thing, which, as you know, if you've been following along for the last few weeks, that's what we're doing is going through the amazing new book by Gary and Jay. Um... One of the chapters is called Big is Bad because that's a, that's a big, fat lie. Big is not bad. Just like small is not good. But the fact, the well, saying so. that big is bad is every bit as wrong as saying small is good. Small isn't good. Small can be good, but so can big. Small can be bad. Big can be bad. Well, the problem is that um, most people that say big is bad, and, and I've probably been one of them at some point in my life, it's because we come from a place of thinking at this certain level, right? So we think, well, if I have all this work at this level, then to get to that level, it must be nearly impossible. It must be horrible up there. If my life is already this stressful at this level, I can only imagine what bigger would look like, yeah. right? But it's because we're applying our thinking at this level to the next level up. But if, and, and the trouble is that you don't get to a place of really, really big using the same thinking that you're you're applying today to your life. Absolutely not. In fact, I mean, Gary, and this whole book is about maximizing your productivity, your potential, your potential outcome. That's mm -hmm. what this whole book is about, is getting you as far in life as you want to go. And uh, Gary's whole point of thinking big is think so big. I mean, I won't be irrational with how big you're yeah. thinking because the plans and actions that that creates will help you get to your potential. It will take you where you can possibly go. Yep. And big can be where you can go. And believe it or not, it doesn't have to be any worse of a problem than being small. I mean, let's face it, you and I, just in our business, Group 4610, we've had problems when we were just you, me, and one other person. We have and, lots of problems when it's just problems. you, me, and you and me. It's more problems than it's just you and me. And then, but we've also had a team of 10 or 12 people uh -huh. where it was no harder. In fact, it was probably easier in a lot of aspects than when there was three or four of us. Correct. And we've had problems that were small. We've also had problems that were big. Okay. Guess what? Problems exist. It's how you think about them, how you tackle them, what your Part mindset and process is. Exactly. So it's a big fat lie. Big is not bad. Big is not bad. You've got megaphobia. I have the cure. It's called read the one yeah. thing. Read it. Reread it. Reread it. Give copies to your friends. Talk about it. And you can cure megaphobia with one simple book. Yep. You know what? That's we're my prescription. You know what we're also going to uh, to solve here today or cure. That's we're going to find out by the end of today if the video of Kevin's feet shown last week or the video of Kevin in a red shirt gets more views. I'm really interested to see. See you back here next week.